Uh, hi, hi, folks. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm Sean, aka Uncle Frogface. Welcome to the video. Happy Smorgast, everyone. That's right, today we're doing a dragon speed painting. Here I'm using a quick pencil sketch of a Galapagos iguana as my starting point. Um, as you can see, I start with a blue sketch on Procreate, and this is just for the main shapes. I'm making it more dragon-like by warping it a little and adding some more dragon-like features. Uh, I'll come in just now with a purple pencil for some spikies, and uh, I'll finish up by marking where I'd like some colour variation on the underside of the neck. This is just a, a digital sketch and this will be a base for the rest of the painting. So for the rest of this video I'm not going to be talking so much about how this actual painting came together. What I'd like to discuss is art challenges in general and the good things and the bad things to look out for. But first things first. What's Smorgast, I hear you ask? Well, Smorgast is a monthly art challenge with a dragon theme. You know, like Smorg in The Hobbit. Wait, is it Smorg? Smorg, sm Smaug, Smurg, Smog, Smug. Anyway, artists are challenged to create a piece every day using one of the many prompts lists you can find online. Um, if you haven't tried a monthly art challenge, then I do recommend it. They're a good way to be more social with art, improve your skill, and maybe try new things. But just like anything else, there are pros and there are cons. So why don't we talk about those? Let's start with some of the pros that I've experienced. Firstly, routine. When you start doing one of these challenges, you start to get into the routine of doing art every day. So I remember being told countless times when I first started, you need to draw every day. And practice is really important, but I think structured practice is even better. So you could try setting yourself a time limit or using a specific time of day. By the end of the month, you'll probably be in the habit of doing art every day. As the days go on, you'll find that you'll notice an improvement in different areas. So that could be your shape language, colour theory, or just being able to draw something that actually looks like the thing you set out to draw. And believe me, as a beginner, that's not as easy as it sounds. If you look at some of my early Instagram posts, they are shocking. But you'll notice an improvement just by practising. So one of the reasons I started participating in art challenges at all is because I actually have a brain injury. I've always been a creative person. I've worked in theatre and music and as a teacher. Uh, but I had an accident that caused this brain injury and because of that my creativity had been affected. So one of the benefits of these challenges is that you'll often have a prompt word that you wouldn't expect and it forces you to think outside the box. It's actually a really great way to improve that creative thought process. Also, these challenges are designed in a way that encourage you to post on social media. It can open you up to like-minded people and other artists who might be in a similar place to you on their art journey. So this all sounds great, right? Well, yeah, but there are a few things to watch out for. So here are the cons that I've experienced. As artists, we tend to be our own worst enemies when it comes to critique. And with everyone from beginners to industry professionals with decades worth of experience participating in these challenges, it's really easy to compare your work to the people that you aspire to be like, and it can be quite demotivating. You just have to remember that those same people would have gone through the things that you're going through now, that self-doubt. So if you feel yourself being demotivated rather than excited to share your work, then just don't share it. You don't have to. I mean, after all, it can be just something for you.
Another thing to consider is the amount of time that it can take up. So for me, when I started, I started with Mermaid in 2018. Uh, so that's Mermaids all through the month of May. I started because having a disability and a brain injury meant that I was home most of the time. So I had both the time and the inclination to improve at something that I love doing. But if you're at work or school and you're trying to find time to juggle that and art challenges and a social life, it can be tough. You don't have to create a masterpiece every day. If you want to just do a two minute doodle one day and a six hour oil painting the next, then go for it. In fact, you don't even have to do it every day. If you want to do one piece a week or even work on just one piece for the whole of the month, then that's great. Do what works for you. And lastly, if you feel your creativity draining, then just take a break. Trust me, I did nearly two years of daily art uh, using back-to-back -back monthly challenges. By the end of that, and quite rightly, I, I felt my creative juices running low. So that, combined with a couple of months of hospital treatment, gave me a good reason to take a step back and think about what I was doing. The funny thing is though, I still do art nearly every day, even if it's just doodles and sketches. It's part of my day now. I just have that art habit. Have you thought about doing one of these challenges before? Maybe you've done one and have more advice for people who are considering it. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Maybe even ring that bell and be notified next time I upload. There'll also be a link to another video you might like at the end. And here we are, just finishing up with a nice background now, and this one will be finished and ready to sign. I hope you enjoyed the painting and the chat, and until next time, have a great day.